Hey guys, what's up? Westman here from the Kingdom Brands, and today I'm bringing you a Brink Co-op uh, Defender Tower gameplay with my buddy Reach War on Xbox Live. Um, tower Defend, it's kind of hard because we're playing on hardcore, we're playing on the hardest dif difficulty obviously because um, you know, we, we, played, we played it quite a few now, a few times. And um, this 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 mode right here is basically there's gonna be loads of waves. It's kind of like zombie mode, you could say. No, actually, it's not. You can't say it. it's just there's loads of waves, and you have to protect. Um, you kind of have to protect your base, the command post. If you guys don't know, and it kind of gets hectic because um, the computer is kind of overpowered when you play on hardcore. It, 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 they just shoot you once or twice, and you die. And it, it it frustrates me and my friend a lot, but you know we we managed to you know to do the thing easy normally you know. Uh, we dropped our turrets here, you know, getting our tactics ready, and uh, we're gonna start off. I'm using I don't know what gun I'm using. I forgot the name, but I know my sub gun is the um, Tampa SMG, which I love by the way. But I decided to to go for this type of game, uh, this type of gun for this game because I'm not going to be so close to the enemies um, as often but I can always switch back to my Tempa SMG which I love so my uh, my gun um, my gun things my gun setup I basically have the red dot sights uh, I have the grid and I have the extended mag which means um, I have more bullets in a round so I don't have to reload uh, I'll have 44 instead of uh, 35 instead of 30 which is which is good you, know, you need that for these type of games because you encounter lots of enemies at the same time uh, it's, it starts off smoothly as you can see here it's really smooth um, you die once or twice but when you die it's, it's not a big deal you don't need the medic uh, because it's really close to the spawn point it's not like the other um, co-op in this one you don't really need a medic I would advise you maybe use an engineer two engineers um, you don't really need a soldier because you can always pick up the bullets from the from this this, this machine right there. So I think engineers is good. Drop turrets. Uh, so engineers is probably the best for this type of game. And then uh, yeah, two engineers is perfect if you're a group of four. Maybe two engineers and um, one operative, which I don't see why an operative, but you know, so that uh, <laughs> so that he, you know if you if you if you if you're losing the command post. An operative can disguise as the enemy team and he can go close and kill the guy that's actually taking the post. So that's pretty much easy. So Brink, my thoughts on Brink right now. It's it's an amazing game. I love it to be honest. It's uh, it's a game that can do great stuff, you know. This game is either you hate it or love it and to be honest I'm on the loving side. Obviously there's a couple frustrating things. For example, um, the lag online. There is a few lag which f pisses me off so bad so much um, uh, I won't like maybe 30% of the time there is lag and when I'm trying to join a game alone you know without my party without my buddies without my mates without my friends I'm probably not gonna find anyone I'm always gonna be against the computer and I don't know if it's only me or other people but in o for me in order to play um, with other people online I have to to join my friend's game or make him invite me, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's that's pretty pretty annoying, and I think they're gonna fix it. You know, every game at the release always has a couple lag. So um, I believe Splash, you know, the makers, the developers of this game are probably gonna fix it because you know they've they've made a lot of good RPGs and stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm you know they they never leave their games behind. They they're good developing companies, so. Um, I, I trust that they're gonna fix it and the lag is gonna go away. Uh, the campaign mode, if you guys don't know, um, it's pretty cool, pretty good, pretty easy. Uh, you got two. It's pretty short. Each each child is pretty short actually. But you got the. Um, you either want to be for the good guys or the bad guys. You choose. You can play both. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you can, can you can play both campaign. Here I'm using the Tampa, which is my favorite gun. Tampa SMG with the silencer. This gun's deadly. This gun is deadly. I nearly died there. I, can't, I don't know how I survived. Um, another good thing about this game is you can just dodge all the bullets, you know. Slide around, jump around. Uh, I love this. I love it. You know, jumping around, sliding around is the best. 
Um, so yeah, the graphics are pretty good. They're they're pretty normal, you know. They're not something extraordinary, but the, the game is it's it's loads of fun. And to be honest, if you don't have a lot of friends who have this game, who are planning to buy this game, I don't advise you to buy it. Okay. Because you're probably you, this game is not a, a game you want to play solo. You'll get bored pretty fast. Um, this is my thoughts. I mean, I, to be honest, when I play this game solo, I, g I get bored. You know, unless, you know, un unless it's like the challenges. The challenges are pretty fun. You know, but it's all it's the same thing. So you kind of get bored. They, they're obviously gonna add content later on. But uh, I advise you play with your friends. You know, um, get a party of six, seven in a big game. You know, get two medics, two what, two. You know, mix it up and uh, work on your teamwork and I think this game has the potential of being a great game, you know what I'm saying? Um, obviously it's nothing like Black Ops um, it's totally different so maybe the Black Ops fanboys won't like it but I enjoy it, you know? Um, you can always make friends online I mean, it's kind of hard uh, I've, I haven't made friends online but I had my all my friends bought this game so that's why I bought it but um, yeah, you know it's a game you actually need to play with your friends, otherwise you get bored. But it's a great game, to be honest. It has the potential of being a great game. I love it. You know, I love the guns in this game. I love jumping around. I love taking down someone. It's uh, it's a brilliant game, guys. If you haven't tried it, um, try it out. <laughs> try it out. But yeah, try try to get some friends with you into the game because uh, you might not uh, have too much fun. So now comes the hectic part where there's so many enemies guarding the thing and they, they kill you so fast. Which is enjoyable, you know. The fun part is, you know, the computer's hard. And the computer, I have mixed feelings, man. It, sometimes it could be he could be a dumbass and sometimes the CPU can be a killer. Like, straight away kill you, you know. And, uh, you know, I think that... You know that might spoil the game a bit. You know I would like someone that's in between, but they're really you know smart. They know what they're doing, um, but sometimes they do act like dumbasses, which is uh, really annoying. <laughs> really annoying. You know when you're playing co-op, when you're playing online, uh, you just basically have to do a couple objectives, competitive. Uh, my next uh, gameplay commentary is probably gonna be about um, a competitive match. You know me playing with loads of friends. Uh, but we know we're trying to get on online at the same time to make a big team and I'll record that Because when we do get online and uh, we're all online we pretty much rape everyone to be honest uh, We do the objectives quickly we move in together which is uh, which is what Brink is all about to be honest That's what it's all about uh, This gun this gun actually reminds me of the gun in Killzone uh, Except in Killzone when you, it's kind of pointless to zoom in <laughs> But in this game, it's all right. You can zoom in and uh, actually hit firing in his gun is really good. In this game, it's uh, really good. Uh, I tend to hit fire a lot, which is uh, which is what I do a lot. You know, especially if you if you build your guy skinny and small, he's gonna be faster and you know hop higher. And he's he's basically gonna have only SMGs and uh, handguns. And um, you only need to hit fire if you're gonna jump everywhere and stuff. I don't uh, I don't advise you to. If I, so here we finish off, you know, my teammates capturing the command post, making sure we're getting it, finishing. I'm trying to destroy this tower as you can see here. So this was my thought on Brink, more to come up next, um, different game modes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was Westman from the Kuhn and Friends, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Westman out. Westman out.